Hey from Shield. Uh, today we're going to talk tape tearing 101. So a lot of people when they're working with athletic tape for the first time, maybe they're only used to using masking tape. Maybe they're only used to using blue painter's tape, which tears really easily. They'll have a hard time with a premium cotton tape. I mean, you're tearing fabric basically, but Shield designs its tapes to be hand terrible. So with the right technique, you don't need scissors. You don't need a ton of hand strength to get tears done consistently and repeatedly. So here's how you do it. So I'm using Shield Classic Athletic Tape made in USA. Um, we spend a lot of time evaluating and engineering our fabric to have the right orientation and density of yarns. And then when we coat, we coat to make sure our adhesive invades the fabric so you really get a good construction. That helps make it easier to tear. But one thing that'll often happen with folks is if they're tearing for the first time or they're new to it, they will wind up struggling with tape that feels like it's twisting almost like a shirt. And when it starts to twist, you can see that you'll get fabric start to bunch up and block together. And if you have fabric that even folds over, it's way harder to tear. So the trick to tearing tape easily and consistently every time is three steps. One, you wanna grip consistently. So I grip thumb and forefinger on either hand pretty close together. Step two is you wanna pull apart. So I'm pulling my hands away from each other. And as you pull apart, you stabilize the fabric so that it's much easier to tear. So when you have grip close together, pulling apart and twist, you naturally will get a clean tear. So here we are, not pulled apart, pulled apart. It's nice and stretched. Pull apart, twist. And when you have this technique down, it's really easy to tear even if your hand's not close to the roll. It's easy to tear if you'd only have a couple of free fingers. It's easy to tear small pieces. So it's something worth maybe a little bit of practice, but once you get it, it becomes like second nature. Last time, grip, pull, twist. When you get this down, you can even take your tape and rip it lengthwise, which can be handy if you're taping for uh, mixed martial arts, jujitsu, when you need to, need to tape small digits like toes. We'll cover that in a future video. But for now, happy tearing. Remember, grip, pull, twist. Thanks. Good luck. Take care.